This woman, what do you make of all this latest stuff? It's explosive. And what's interesting about this is we had asked for uh, documentation production by Lev Parnas. Um, and at that point, he hired Dowd, who was the president's attorney. He then got rid of Dowd, hired another attorney, and lo and behold, he's willing to comply with the subpoena. So here's someone who is complying with the subpoena with explosive documentation that shows that this has been an effort underway uh, dating back to early this early last year uh, to be able to build a case to tear down Biden as he saw him as the most likely opponent in his presidential race. This is a strong case of bribery where the president has used his office to ask for something of personal benefit and to do so um, by virtue of being the president of the United States seeking this specific favor. Again, it is a very strong case of bribery. This is precisely what our founding fathers were concerned about, uh, using the office for personal gain. And the president, I think, has been caught red-handed. Well, most ominous about those new documents is that Robert Hyde, the Republican from Connecticut, told Parnas, the Russian, in March, or I think he was Ukrainian, that his contacts, who appeared to be tracking Ivanovich, were, quote, willing to help if we or you would like a price. He then says, guess you can do anything in the Ukraine with money. Andrew, what do you make of this? It looks to me like, I don't know what they're doing, setting up something sort of physical, but I don't know against you know, Yovanovitch. Who knows? Well, I think that um, another witness who is now somebody who uh, the Senate can call is Lev Parnas. I think the letter that you just put up from Rudy Giuliani is a real smoking gun because you have Rudy Giuliani saying that he's acting in the president's personal capacity. That shows that the president and Rudy knew this would be improper to use the office of the presidency for a personal errand, to use Dr. Fiona Hill's um, phrase. And yet the president on the call with President Zelensky was using the office of the president. That is precisely what has been charged in the impeachment counts. And that's what John Bolton referred to as a drug deal. And we're all waiting to see whether he's going to testify in the U.S. Senate trial. And thank you, U.S. Congressman Jackie Spear, as always. Andrew Weissman, sir, for your expertise in the least. Thank you for your reporting up. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.